Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. This is an interesting one, actually. Uh, somebody said uh, the Philippines is a paradise lost. Now, the interesting thing, he was complaining about the way I talk about some of the negative things in the Philippines. Now, for me, I think he went way off tangent anyway, but here's a bit of reality. Philippines is not paradise lost at all. Um, what you have in the Philippines is an ecosystem that can correct itself at a phenomenal rate if it's given half a chance. Um, you see how quickly things grow, etc. It is ridiculously fast in the Philippines. Um, so I would say from an eco point of view, the Philippines can recover itself given half the chance. Um, I think the Philippines needs a population of about half of what it's got currently, or even less than that. Um, but that's a global phenomena, uh, phenomenon at the moment. Um, but the corruption issues are something that exists globally. Uh, every country's got it in some form. Everybody's unhappy with their government in some form. Um, the monopolies are the same. In the West, corporations are rising to a similar level. Um, I see a lot of the Philippines' business practices um, the West in the future. Uh, because at the moment, everyone complains about it, but nobody actually does anything. The issues relating to garbage. Um, the uh, overfishing, etc can all be corrected um, I've seen some uh, like Negroes when I went off to that um, floating floating building in the middle of the sea it's for a guy that actually watches over the coral reefs to protect them he sits there and will phone the uh, radio the Coast Guard if people are fishing in there that is something that can change you know these are small steps in a big problem so when somebody says paradise you know philippines is the paradise lost it's admit, admitting defeat anything i do a video on has a, an ability to change i work in change management i work in asset management i work in asset integrity i work in business change business development i work in industries that are reliant on change so we don't throw anything out unless it's 100 percent a failure what we do is we look at anything that's not functioning and try to make it work um so yeah the paradise lost thing uh that's probably the most negative statement i've heard of anybody the philippines just needs to change it just needs to adapt to its environment it needs to understand that its population growth is out of control um, it needs to understand that the investment in farming and stuff needs to be heavily regulated to cut the corruption so it actually helps itself. Coconut production could be increased. Um, but I think there's also the problem that it's got very similar to the UK in many ways that it likes everything to come through the ports. Why does it come through the ports? Because if it comes through the ports, it's taxed. If people are backyard farming, if people are producing uh, crops in the provinces, etc., the central government can't really control it as much as it would like. So the easiest way of doing that is to reduce production in internally, so externally, you can control everything coming through the ports. So central government cream off the top without actually any risk to themselves. Um, it just inflates the cost of everything because a lot of this stuff should actually be produced internally uh, within the Philippines, which is why I say it's all about change. Uh, any video that I do, there is negatives and positives. Why don't I concentrate more on how sunny Boracay is? Um, is because there's tons of videos already out there. Um, what am I going to tell people? Exactly the same as everybody else? I can't see the point. Um, but for me it's all about positive change it's like education um, I think there should be more education and understanding uh, I think there should be more 
moral guidance and things that actually create a positive impact throughout an entire community because if you can make those changes everything else follows because littering um, I find completely bizarre because the state of the rivers yet yeah, everybody will point to the government and blame the government yet yeah, it's a million people in that area that have thrown everything in the river it wasn't the government that put it there it was those people educating those people to say you did that stop doing it we want to fix this it shouldn't be like this you're causing typhoid you're causing malaria you're causing dengue you're causing infections galore infestations of rats etc etc by excessive littering um, that that's the reality of it but nobody likes to tell the truth to people and I'm afraid going on the path it is doesn't matter what country it is it's it just doesn't work just ignoring everything doesn't work we do it a lot in the West these days um, cosmopolitan societies for example there's been no real discussion that most integration programs by the UK government for example are a complete failure people become isolated in their own communities because they form their own communities people just do not like each other um, and a lot of it is false um, there's fears between different people so I remember working at a building in Birmingham a very large one uh, most of the students are Chinese security were guys from Pakistan predominantly uh, the engineers were uh, white British the cleaners were Jamaican descendant British um, there was at least six different groups because it was Polish etc etc but the only person that integrated with everybody was myself because I'll go and talk to anybody um, because communicate with everybody drops the barriers and it was quite funny with one of the engineers because we were talking when one of the security guys come over and asked me did I want anything for lunch because he's he's going to drive up and grab the the lunch for all the other guys in security um, and he was shocked because obviously I was there on the engineering side and he's like I've been here four years nobody's nobody's ever asked me if I wanted anything for lunch I said well do you actually talk to them you know that's the only way you create change in places so the whole point is when I say something is because there's a positive outcome but it only comes from creating a change um, as I keep stating it's about thinking any of my videos are about thought it's about putting a bit of thought into it um, and seeing is there a problem is there a solution is there a risk because for anybody going to the Philippines for the first time they've got a higher risk than uh, most other people because it is in a new country with new people new environment etc <coughs> doesn't mean that they're going to get robbed as soon as they get off the train or off plane but it does mean they should be more aware that they stand out because they're a foreigner and that's it um, everything else the examples I give are actually real examples of what's happened to other people um, and as been discussed some of the expat community are an absolute nightmare themselves so that's why you know a lot of things do happen to a lot of people simply because of the type of people they are their age group their health etc etc but that is the expat community like it or lump it because um, obviously it'll be a bit more different to the expat community in Dubai for example or in Singapore um, because there's a bigger business sector so it's just things to be aware of but anyway Thanks for watching.